Chichunia, also known as Chikuna, Chijuna, or the Siberian Snowman, is a Siberian humanoid cryptid. Most people who have seen it describe it as tall, 6 to 7 feet, and human-like, with broad shoulders, a large brow that sticks out, long matted hair, and occasionally oddly colored fur. This creature has also been observed wearing clothing made from animal skins. Some scientists believe these creatures have less in common with Gigantopithecus-like creatures such as Bigfoot or the Yeti. Instead, as some have speculated, they could be relics of Paleo-Asian Aborigines or even Neanderthals. Although the Soviet government sent expeditions into the upper regions of the Indigurka and Yana rivers in 1928 to collect accounts of these unique man-beasts, most reports come from indigenous nomad groups such as Yakuts and the Tunjis. Tales and reports from the Yakuts and Tunjis tribes predate 1928 for a long time. These stories and reports are similar to Native American accounts of Bigfoot, also known as Sasquatch, which date far before 1928. Surprisingly, the same species can also be found in the southeast corner of Siberia. The name Mulen comes from the Tungus word for robber, which is the common name given to these criminals in this setting. The fact that these animals are notorious for breaking into barns and other buildings after dark lends credence to their infamous reputation. To the best of our knowledge, the animals appear to be the same regardless of location. It has been reported that unlike their Almatsi relative in Siberia, these creatures are known to consume human flesh occasionally. Professor P. Dravert was outraged in 1933 when he learned that these creatures were being hunted, and he petitioned the Soviet government to end this heinous act. He argued that Chichuna were also citizens of the Soviet Union, and as such, they deserved equal protection under the law. The petition was successful, and the hunting of these creatures was stopped. It should be no surprise that the Soviet government, which was in power then, had no interest in matters of this nature. His pleading was disregarded. Although the Cold War was still going on, life was significantly different in the 1970s. Vladimir Pushkarev, a geologist, carried out research across the entirety of Siberia. He also heard native accounts of these native creatures, but he concluded that their population sizes had diminished since the turn of the 20th century. This was likely in part due to the overwhelming encroachment of civilization. Despite this, in 1985, British anthropologist Mira Shackley asserted that she had personal experience with the Chichuna people known as Macheni. Most researchers have concluded that these hominids, which may be one of the last living links the human race has with its simian ancestors, are either extinct or dangerously close to being wiped out completely from the face of the earth. Even in this day and age, some of the most desolate regions on our planet can be found in the far-flung reaches of Siberia. It is unfathomable that the Chichuna do not still exist, and recent interactions with locals may point to the possibility that this is the case. There are also other modern-day reports of Chichuna. The Russian newspaper Yakuts Vichernij, Evening Yakuts, published an article titled In Search of the Snowman in December 2002 about two reporters who went in search of a strange animal. The trip was inspired by an article published in the same newspaper on March 29th. In March 2002, an unknown animal was caught in a wolf trap in a village in the Verkoyansk region's Barilis district. It was already dead when it was discovered, and people described it as looking like a monkey and the size of a large dog. The only body areas without fur were the feet and the face. It had a very long tail. There are three different versions of what happened to the body. Jacob Potopov, a teacher in a nearby settlement, said the body had been taken to Yakutsk, the capital. Someone else claimed that the animal was killed by dogs, while a third claimed that scared people buried the body and the trap together. Sergei Slepsov, the head of the Sartan town council, discussed a similar incident that occurred six months earlier. Albert Slepsov, a young man, discovered a dead animal that resembled an ape. He had no idea what it was. In this case, it was suggested that it could be a chichuna, the local term for wild man. Older people in the area who had seen the dead animal named it a basi kila. Elena Tikonova, a reporter, and Michael Kochtov, a photographer, made contact with Albert Slepsov's family in the Badagaj settlement. These demonstrated that Slepsov had discovered a strange animal, but they said nothing about what happened to the body. However, council workers in the Verkoyansk region claimed that Albert Slepsov's father buried the body. When the reporters learned of this, they left Yakutsk for the Verkoyansk region in search of Albert Slepsov. They flew for two hours and then drove for 12 hours on dirt roads to Junker. 
where Albert Slepsov was supposed to be, but wasn't. After overcoming some obstacles, they managed to locate Afanasy Slepsov, the witness's 64-year-old father, in another location. He claimed that his son discovered an unknown animal with a long tail in a trap at the end of October 2001. The coat was a strange yellow color. The boy abandoned the animal in the woods out of fear. He sketched his discovery at home. After several days, Afanasy Slepsov tried to find the animal and its friend, but it snowed again. The reporters told Slepsov that the villager claimed he found and hid the animal. Slepsov denied. Because the subject made him feel bad, we stopped asking him. Others in the village said Slepsov kept his son's discovery a secret until rumors started. In March 2002, reporters could not visit the second discovery site. Moscow Travel Agency offered another trip. Eastern Siberia's Autonomous Republic of Sakha, Yakutia, experienced this near the Arctic Circle. Yakutsk capital is 200 kilometers east of the main Verkhoyansk mountain ridge. Winter temperatures drop to minus 70 degrees Celsius here. Many towns are only accessible by air or seasonal roads. The Chichuna is one of the hardest cryptids to find. And in conclusion, I want to mention that the Chichunya monster is a peculiar human-like monster. This magical animal has been known to scare off predators with a mysterious, dazzling coloration and curious repetitive noises. It's also a fairly good creature and has been known to help humans in the past. Have you ever seen a Chichunya? Let us know in the comments below. And don't forget to subscribe to Mystery X.